Hi there guys and welcome to a building video. Uh, as you can see this is running at three times normal speed. Um, and I am commenting after the fact. Now I've not done anything like this before so be gentle. I'm building at the Starlight Drive-In as you can probably see. Uh, and I'm getting stuck straight into a barracks. Uh, I'm putting a few foundations down. Now this is the first building I'd actually built. Uh, and so there's a few kind of bits where I'm not really sure like there <laughs> what I'm... Uh, actually doing and what my plans are so I was kind of like messing around with all the different kind of fences like the veranda kind of things there um, I settled with walls straight walls for the ground floor because I decided I want to do multiple floors and uh, I didn't want verandas along the bottom I do put a like a porch area out the front that you see in a minute uh, I do slap that on but I remove it um, in a minute um, I'm not sure why I removed it but anyway there's this distinct build order that I've found in uh, when you're building buildings as you can see here that like that's it's also very temperamental like if you if you're having trouble attaching something to something else like the wall to the foundation it helps sometimes if you look at it from a different angle uh, also those sides there that go on the verandas you want to put those on first before you put on the adjoining walls like I've done there I found that out quite quick uh, also again the doorway won't snap in there so I had to kind of cheat that in a little bit later with console commands sorry console players I know you can't do that um, but you can do kind of a rug trick uh, which I actually do later on in the video as well I tried to attach this uh, this little porch area as well and just realized it wasn't gonna play well so I uh, give up in the end and I think I I build it separately um, I'm kind of you can see the cogs working in my brain <laughs> But um, yeah, I build it separately, and uh, I, I just like kind of move it in and uh, kind of bodge it. And let you see that anyway. So yeah, this is the rug trick. So you put a rug down there, uh, and then it attaches to the rug, and it uses the rug's collision value. You've probably seen this already. If, you've, if you're watching build videos, then you've probably seen this already. Um, but I noticed that there was a lip there, and it doesn't attach in right, so I knew that was going to have problems later. Uh, when I come to put the ceiling on it wasn't going to clip in properly so I've kind of gave up that and I think I had to basically I, re I think I really just had to um, put it in with the uh, console commands later on oh uh, well no I didn't I did actually yeah that's what I did I did a little cheat there so I just kind of slid it underneath but well, then I realized I couldn't attach those so I had to build the porch separately and slide it under I'm not sure how to actually attach anything else to those door frames um, I, I, I didn't figure it out. I didn't actually um, I didn't actually try again off camera or anything, but I've just like kind of slid that under, guessed it as much as I could and got it pretty pretty right. So I was able to build the rest of the building and just pretend that that was nice. I mean it looks fine at the end of the day as long as it looks fine, it works fine, doesn't really matter, does it? So the ground floor is pretty much sort of the the actual um, shape of the ground floor is fine I'm just working out where to put the stairs so I had to remove that and put the stairs in and then I've got to add an extra floor out there I'll start putting the roofs on I use the um, shack upper floors as well because I've watched a few building videos myself and I've been recommended to use those don't know why I might have a mess around me myself and then I realized that that wasn't going to go on and then I had to jump off the roof and it went on the other direction that's what I mean about looking at it from a different side uh, it's just temperamental, the building system. These are wood struts. Uh, it's a add-on you can get for the um, for the PC version. Uh, again, sorry console players, but there are some tricks I'm going to be using that you can use on the PC, and you'll just have to kind of try and work out your own way of doing it. Um, but uh, I will have a link to all the mods I use in this. I will have a link to them in the description. So that is the uh, support struts mod. Can't remember exactly what it's called, but the name will be in the description. So upstairs I decided to put some verandas on because this adds some, like an extra dimension. It looks more organic rather than just building a, a, a second floor where it's just walls again. That would look kind of too straight and too box-like. So anyone who knows me from my Minecraft building uh, will know that I am so OCD when it comes to building up things. Uh, and you can see here I'm having trouble uh, with the snapping tool. It, it needs a more intuitive snapping system. Um, this game but that'll be for the modders I guess but again it's the building order like you can see there I'd end up putting the corner stuff in but if I put the flat wall in there I probably would have been able to attach it onto the side I put these side walls on there as well 
on the um, they're the one of the first things they need to attach on the on the veranda edges. I don't know what they're called, balconies. I'm, I'm not sure. Started to run out of wood there, so I needed a bit more. So I, I went around. I do run out of wood completely. I started with over six hundred wood, <coughs> and I ran out. Um, apologies for my cough as well. I've got another cough, and I don't know why. Seriously, um, but I ran out of wood. You go through wood so much. I mean, this this building, I think, in total, when it's finished, it's about three floors high. Well, two floors on the ceiling, and sorry, two floors on a roof. Um, I went through about nine hundred wood or something to build this one building. I'm not sure where I'm going to get w wood from. I know you can get like shipments of wood. So if anyone, and but apart from that, I don't know where else you get it from. So anyone, if anyone knows where to get any more wood, then feel free to leave it in the comments because pff, I have no idea where I'm going to get the wood to build this entire town. I want to build big towns and all my settlements, and I don't know where to get it from. Short of cheating. Um, so, yeah, I don't really want to cheat if I can help it, because this is my playthrough as well. Attaching a fence around, this is going to be a balcony area, uh, attaching fences. I like to put alternate fences as well. I saw this on a video by uh, No Respawns, and um, it's just, it's just makes it look a bit more interesting, a little bit more organic, it's like you've cobbled together, like, the building supplies from all over the place, which is what you would do in a wasteland. You would never necessarily find all the, uh, fences that you need, you know? Attaching the ceiling on there and the roof. Again, using those double shack ceilings. I decided I wanted to get some guard posts around here as well, which is what I'm looking for. There we go. Um, because at the end of the day, it's a barracks. I tried to connect it on the end there and it didn't work. So again, I move that down in the console later. I just move it down so it's ground level. Try to attach on fences, can't because of the build order again. And then I realized that some of the walls won't attach in. So if you're having trouble like that, a wall won't attach in, then other walls will, again, like that. So you might want to just try a different wall. I tried to get the wall in I wanted, but I don't think I did, did I? I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's find out together. And put that on the end. To get a wall in there. Did I get the fence in? I don't think I did. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, I did. Okay. Well done, Mesh. Well done. And like that was never going to happen, let's be honest. I mean, I could place it there and then move it back and do that, but I think I just end up leaving it open. Left that open as well. Try to put one of these pillars. These are support uh, beams as well. Uh, BV columns. Uh, again, that'll be in the description for the PC players. Again, sorry, console players. Um, I'm not sure what you do, in fact, in those situations. Do you just leave it floating there or what? But support columns are amazing. They, they should be in the game. There's a lot of things that just should be in the game, but we all know Bethesda. You know, I'm not this. I'm not going to turn this into a rant video, but there are a few things that should have been in the base game, and I think Bethesda do rely on their modding community a little bit too much. But uh, never mind. I'm I'm doing the same kind of technique here, doing little bits of that fences around. Can't fit that on the end there, of course. And uh, I decided to fit some steps on the end, but I don't think that works either. Uh, it's because I've kind of pushed that underneath. Anyway, I ran out of wood there, and. Um, and so I, I went and got some from Sunshine um, Co-op. I got like a thousand wood or something. So I was able to build it. I'm giving a tour around the area because I, I did a bit offline. I put some power in there, put some guard posts down, remove, um, lowered them down with the console commands, put some more fences around the edge. And the um, I started putting some decorations in. Uh, the, the main structure is built and done at this point. And then I just, I'm just spend this part of the video doing decorations, different chairs, try not to put the same chairs down all the time, just put different ones again, think of getting the mindset of like a wastelander, you, you, you're scavenging things, you're finding things in houses and bringing them back, bringing them back to your place, and so you're never going to have all the same chairs, well not, you know, sometimes you might get lucky, you know, like there, <laughs> I got I got lucky and got two white chairs the same, how fortunate, um, again with boxes, oh I put some beds in as well, because it is a barracks, put some little foot lockers at the end of each bed, Realised that wasn't going to work, so I, again, cheated, moved them with the console later. Um, slapped those in, started putting them a bit wonky, and then realised that I'd made a mistake. Well, not a mistake, but I didn't change my mind. I didn't want to do that. That's not going to work, Mesh. Go on, give it up. So, yeah, then I decided I wanted a centre area as well. It wasn't enough to have the, um, the beds that I wanted. Uh, these are uh, display boards for guns, so you can put guns in. The they work like chests so you access them and put um, items inside them and then the display on the board good thing for barracks a barracks kind of situation again it's another pc mod sorry console players um but I, it will be in the description as well 
Uh, when you're putting down boxes and stuff, unless obviously you're intentionally putting them straight at the end of the bed, try and like put them at an angle. Uh, not everything is uniform and straight. Uh, just try to um, yeah, try to put them at an angle, and I'll do a bit more of that later on. But this is the center divide in the area, but so I'll be able to make a nice little kind of a fake wall. Put some, I was able to get four more beds in the room because of that, otherwise it would be wasted space in the middle of the room. Again, put the foot lockers at the end of the bed, and it's just like a barracks. It's great. I managed to get twelve beds in here. I think I've got. I think I've got all the beds I'm going to get, and I'll go around and count them in a second. Again, these are support columns as well. Did they just look the part? Uh, they didn't go right up the roof. I don't think. I think I had to move those up in the console later again as well. There's also a, a really good um, uh, script that you can get for the. Uh, for the console, so you can uh, for the console commands, it's an auto hotkey script. I'll put that in the description as well. But uh, right at this point, I'm starting to put in the crafting areas. So I'm putting an armor workbench and a weapons workbench. I had to use the rug. Don't no, I didn't. I didn't. I thought I had to use the rug trick, but I didn't. Armor workbench and weapons workbench. This is going to be my work area where I come after I've been out. So I want plenty of storage here. When I've been out exploring the wastelands. I want to come back and I've got, you know you know what it's like, you've got loads of crap on you, you want to put them all down in different places, you've got different chests for different things, melee weapons, weapons that you're going to break down later, all different kinds of stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. So you want things that you can put down, also want some lighting as well since it's getting dark. So I decided it was a good opportunity to do the lighting. I did run power all around the roof and that seems to be just about, I'll have to tweak the power a little bit later on but... Um, putting the power on the pylons on the roof was almost enough to get power throughout the building. There, I know what's there, it's not quite right. So I had to, um, so yeah, you run the power lines around, oh, sorry, as you can see along the roof there, you can run the power lines along, and, uh, and these lights obviously don't need to be connected directly, so it's, uh, quite good if you can, if you can do that. I tried that light out and that was diabolical. The lights are really, I had to mess around with the disco ball as well, but the lights are really bad. It's those hanging bulbs are the best ones. And then the ones that go on the side of the walls, like those ones there. They're, they're good as well. Tried something out there. Actually, did I leave that in? I think I left that in, actually, in the end. All right, went back down. Put some uh, exterior lighting as well. As you can see, my building um, budget at the top right of the screen is getting ever closer to the end. And this is one building. Bethesda's building allowance is grossly... Conservative. It's very conservative. That's the word, and it's just it's just ridiculous. That's it from me, guys. I'm just having shown a tour around, and I'm hoping to build up the whole area. Anyway, guys, I'll leave you with a live action tour. Bye. Right, guys. Uh, welcome back. I've done a bit of a. I've done a lot of building on it actually. Uh, put some columns in. Uh, that's a mod you can get on the PC, and some of those support beams as well. Some of the mod. Um, and I've put a lot of detail in and I'm not sure if it's too much because my frame rate's actually gone down a bit and it's only one building. Can't remember um, the last time I had any fingernails. Look at him spying on me through there. Uh, so yeah, you've got, I've got this little area here, I've put a few boxes there and, uh, and some chairs to sit on. Uh, I've got a water pump there as well. Go around the outside. Got these beams there and I've got attacked by a suit mutant as well. Uh, so you can see there, you've got a couple of lights around there. Um, got the power on the top. Got a guard post that's manned, yay. Support beam there, and some supports there as well. Some flags on the outside, some more power. Another flag. Um, then you got that. So I need to put a, a foundation under there, actually. Um, so if you come in here, you've got... Uh, this is the uh, officer's mess. Well, not the officer's mess, Back just the mess. Hurts. My feet hurt. I... Everything no hurts. wonder. No wonder you're trying to walk through the wall. That's why. The door's right there, mate. Seriously. Anyway, you've got a feed o -matic, or e sorry, eat a tronic. Um, I don't know where I got that from. A lot of boxes under the stairs. Just, uh, just you know, a little bit of eye candy. Uh, jukebox here. This is the workshop room. This is where I think I've gone overboard because I've put all these things on the shelf. Now, this is a mod called OCD Decorator, and I am an OCD Decorator. If anyone who watches my channel knows, it allows you to place any items that you've picked up um, via the workshop menu, so you can uh, you can place like uh, I think that's aluminium, acid, the coolant, cotton, nuclear material, gas canisters. You can place literally anything you can pick up in the world, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and it can't be knocked over, so like if your dog's in there, you can't do that. It's kind of cool. 
so it's worth getting. Um, weapons workbench and an armor workbench. Plenty of boxes here so I can store all different kinds of weapons and stuff. So this will probably be my way main work area. Got some scavenging stations here as well. Um, and I've got some settlers assigned to it. A couple of boxes, more boxes, more boxes all over the place. That's what I want really. Um, so yeah, this is where the uh, the guys will eat. Again, this is also OCD decorator. You can't uh, can't pick them up. Jukebox. Um, upstairs, you've got a little table here. Again, replica. They're replica magazines. Can't use them. Turn the radio on there. You've got a couple of uh, thing seats outside. You can uh, sit on the deck. Have a little relax with your friends there. Enjoy the view of the whole town, which will exist, I'm sure. The reason I think I've gone overboard is because um, <clears throat> I've got one building, and you can see in the top right there, my size is already at yellow. Uh, I might end up having to delete some of this stuff off here. Um, these notice boards here are for putting weapons up. How do I do this? Does that work like that? Can I put my weapon up there? There it is. And it'll appear on there. Oh, goodness. I think... Oh no, that's okay. I'm sure I read somewhere that... Oh yes, that's right, yeah, there's a... Oh, that's right, there's a bug. Oh no, it's still kept it. I'm sure it said there was a bug that when you put weapons in there, they not revert to normal ones and that not legendary. Anyway. Yeah, it's great, thanks mate. Can you just bugger off? I'm trying to record a video, seriously. Right, so I've got these as well. That That's kind of a well-known trick. You put televisions on top of those tables and they look like uh, computers. Um... Got some like components here, stealth boys and stuff, but obviously well that's good texture. But obviously that's that's again OCD decorator. Just extra extra decorations. Alarm clocks, beds, little seating area here, look out into the wasteland. Uh more beds. Oh, I still need to push that across, don't I? More beds. I put the beds I separated in the middle of the room and put four more beds in. I'm quite impressed with how that worked out. So I've got three, four, five, six 7, 8, 9, 10 beds. No, 11, 12 beds. So I think that'll... Well, no, I'll need more eventually. Um, but for now, that's that's kind of cool. Uh, you can also go up these steps to the roof. And uh, you've got a couple more seating areas around here. A few more guard posts, which uh, will be manned eventually, maybe, hopefully. And uh, some more seating areas around here. Loads more storage, but more just for sure than anything else. I've got that up there, the junk fences that I mentioned before. And you got the beacon up there. Um, so I'm quite pleased. I'm going to have to get a mod that disables the um, the build limit. Um, and I'm also going to have to sort this out because I think I'm only gotten f uh, 40 FPS right now which isn't the best. So I might have to... I think what I'm doing is I'll probably delete the shelf and I'll replace it with another storage pod. That's probably where all the frame rate's going. So maybe. I don't know. Anyway. If you work, um, you eat. That's my barracks. Get out the way. Get out the way. So Can you just... Oh, I, I know, man. I'm going to build a farm in the next episode, guys. Right. So that's my barracks. Uh, comments. Uh, feedback. Anything in the comments, then that would be great. Um, obviously, yeah, for you console players, uh, just ignore it when I start way. talking about mods. Oh, I'm, uh, I wish you people would shut up. Leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. So, yeah. Um... Sorry to the console players who are watching this, uh, but, you know, you can still get some ideas from the building and uh, just, you know, I don't know. I don't know what you would use instead of supports. I'm not sure. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.